he was being sued and being investigated by the authorities for participating in a gang at a fraternity house. I'm Adam Rossin from the Rossin Law Firm, and in today's video, we're going to talk about Terrence Shannon Jr. and his new rape arrest and the allegations behind it. But before we do, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification button. Make sure to like these videos. We want to make sure that we're giving everybody engaging content that they want to see, and, and of course, we want to give to you guys. So let's get back to Terrence Shannon Jr. and his case. So he's a star player for University of Illinois, which is in Champaign, Illinois. And apparently he was accused of in Lawrence, Kansas, which is the college campus of the Kansas Jayhawks, one of their big rivals. And he was accused of this. They were investigating him. And the next time that his team, Illinois, played at Kansas, they served him with the arrest warrant for sexual assault for charges. Now, Immediately, everybody goes into PR crisis mode. His own athletic director makes a statement that they take these charges very seriously. They're going to suspend him indefinitely, right? And they're committed to making sure that their campus and really all college campuses are safe. But on the other end, people are entitled to due process. Colleges have um, administrative bodies and hearings and policies and procedures set up to make sure that there is due process and that Nobody's rights are violated, including the rights of the accused. So only time will tell to see if this process actually plays out with due process, with evidence, with a fair and full investigation. Because a lot of these times, a lot of these cases, the court of public opinion is what reigns supreme. And by the time the process goes through, somebody's reputation can be damaged forever. And I'm going to give you guys two recent examples of that where professional athletes were later exonerated and took a major, major hit to their career. So the first one is Dodgers pitcher, LA Dodgers pitcher, Trevor Bauer was accused. He was accused criminally and he was accused civilly of forcible. And once the evidence came out, well, it showed that it was consensual. There were text messages from the accuser to her friends basically claiming that she was going to set him up. And yet he was still suspended by Major League Baseball. He still lost millions of dollars. His career, his reputation was not permanently ruined, luckily, but was seriously damaged and ruined for a, a few years. Um, so imagine that, right? Imagine if that actually happened to you or to a loved one. We have another case uh, Buffalo Bills punter Matt Ariza was accused uh, back a few years ago while he was in college. And of course, it just it came out years later. He was being sued and being investigated by the authorities for participating in a gang at a fraternity house. Well, first of all, there was video footage, sex tape footage that showed that there was no non-consensual gang it just so happened to be a bunch of people having consensual sex. That's number one. Number two, and even more importantly, Matariza was nowhere near the events when they happened. There was uncontroverted evidence that he left that party about an hour before. So then you have to go and think, well, late report, person making motive, you know, what are the person's motivations for false accusations? By the way, there was also multiple video evidence of her at that party and the party the night before uh, lying about her age, saying that she was 18 when in fact she was 17. So Matt Ariza, career ruined. He was cut by the Buffalo Bills and he was actually a very good punter. He still hasn't signed on with a new NFL team almost two years later, right? For all we know, he could be bagging groceries back home. And here he, he had this very promising career that he had worked so hard and so long for to build. So as sex crimes lawyers that we are, we follow these cases in the news very clearly. We represent people just like these people who have been accused. And of course, you know, we all can agree that these cases... No one wants to hear that somebody committed a sex crime, but one of the worst things to be ever falsely accused of is a sex crime. It's a career ruiner. It's a future ruiner. It's a reputation ruiner. So we take these cases extremely seriously here at the Rawson Law Firm. Um, you know, and by all, by all means that, you know, from what we know, 
uh, Terrence Shannon Jr. is an excellent player, right? He could have been going to the NBA, and because of this, we have no idea. But I can tell you, those NBA teams, they're not going to want to draft him now, right? And even if he's exonerated, we don't know yet, right? But even if he is, what's that going to do to his career and his future? So only time will tell. It's unfortunate that these things happen, but, you know, we're here when bad things happen to good people. If you like our videos, go ahead again, subscribe, like, comment. We want to hear what people have to say, so please comment. If you're ever in need of any type of sex crimes defense, any type of criminal defense in South Florida, feel free to give us a call, 754-206-6400.